Hello boys and girls and welcome to my preview for the Arsenal versus Atletico Madrid which is tomorrow, the second leg of Europa League in Madrid. Um, now, I'm going to start off with Atletico Madrid. Um, they, we are actually, in this game, we are currently 1-1 at the moment. Uh, Atletico Madrid has also got the away goal. So really, realistic, it's 2-1 to them. Um, Arsenal as well, we do need to get onto the front foot. Uh, and or we do need to get onto the front foot and actually get two goals in or three goals in so we can put more pressure onto Atletico. Um, so that's one thing. I know with Atletico Madrid, we've got to watch out for Greensman. We've got to watch out for Diego Costa. Um, and is it Tiago? Uh, I think his name is. So we've got to watch out for them as well uh, in terms of that. Um, Arsenal now... I. I don't know what team Arsene Wenger is going to go with. Personally, i would probably go with the strongest possible 1-11 to that I think that Arsenal can go with to beat them. I know that Arsenal are capable of beating Atletico Madrid. But it's just having the right mentality in going into this game. By all means, if, I, if they wasn't confident, if Arsenal wasn't confident in going into this game, then what's the point in going? What's the point in turning up if you think, oh, we're going to lose? What's the point in turning up to the game? So I think that, I, as I said, I think I am I am actually confident in going into this game. Um, but we do need to get a decent, decent start to this game and then put the pressure on Atletico. Um, now, in terms of the 1-11 that I've gone with, it's... I've actually put in three players in this squad that I think deserve to play and I think have played well to deserve this chance. And I think this is the right and I think this is the right 1 to 11 to go with if we want to win this game. Uh so yeah, so guys, you know what to do already. Let me know in the comment section below if you think what you agree with my 1 to 11 or if you disagree with it. So, I'm going to get into my 1 to 11. In goal, pet a check. Pretty plain and simple. Um, I know Ospina played for Man for Man United. He let in two goals. So yeah, to be honest, I don't think Ospina should play. I reckon check. So we'll go check in goal. Playing at right back is going to be Hector Bellerin. Um, I thought the past two games for for Hector, he's played well. Um, I thought he was superb in that first leg against Atletico in the first leg. I thought he was superb. Man United, I thought he played well as well. So we'll go with Hector Bellerin at right back. Playing at left back is going to be Nacho Monreal. Now, for me, Monreal, I think he's played well. Um, So he scored a couple of goals this season as well, considering I think he scored like four, is it four goals? Four or five goals he scored. So... Yeah, Nacho Monreal will go in that position. Um, now, the two centre-backs is going to be Lauren Koscielny and Maverick Panos. Uh, the 20-year-old that, that played for Man, against Man United. Um, in term, Yeah, I thought he played well at Man United as well. Um, he was decent, done his job. I actually think he's done a better job to what Mustafi has. Because for me... Maverick Panos for me will come in as Mustafi's replacement because I don't want I, I don't want us conceding any goals, especially in the first especially in the first half. So if we put in Mustafi, I reckon I can see us conceding goals. Um, but Maverick Panos, I think he's a great player. I really do think he's a good player, and I think he's Arsenal material as well. So him and obviously Lauren Koscielny. Now Lauren Koscielny, he's played well. In recent games, he hasn't been the best, but he's had he has put in a decent game. Uh, I thought Lauren Koscielny played well uh, against. Uh, wait, did he play for Man United? No, uh, in the first leg of Europa League uh, against Atletico, uh, I actually thought he played well. Uh, so yeah, those are my two centre backs. Now playing in the defensive midfield, this is where I've also changed. Um, I've took out Jack Wilshere. Wilshere ain't playing. Uh, I haven't picked El Denny. He's not playing either. Um, you're probably thinking, well, who have you gone with then? Well, I've actually gone with the two players that I've got in that defensive midfield is Maitland-Niles 
and Granite Xhaka. Now, you're probably thinking, why have you gone for Maitland Niles? Because I thought he put in a decent performance in for Man United, I, against Man United. I thought he played well. He was superb. So, I don't see why not. And I actually thought he put in a really good shift in against West Ham as well. Um, was it when El Nini got injured? So, yeah, I thought Maitland Niles played well. And this is where I think Maitland Niles, Maitland -Niles deserves a chance in going into that. I know, I know it's not his natural position, but I, this is what I would go with. Maitland Niles in the defensive midfield. Um, so, we'll go with that. Granite Xhaka, I thought he's played well. Uh, played well at West Ham. Played some really good key passes. Um, I thought he played well against Atletico as well in the first leg. Uh, and I also thought he put in the... Um, I, thought, I actually thought he played well against Man United as well. So, yeah, Granit Xhaka goes in the defensive midfield as well. Playing as the three in front of them. Uh, on In the three. Playing on the right of the three is going to be Mkhitaryan. Now, I've gone with Mkhitaryan because he got a goal against Man United. Um, and do you know what? He gives something different to what Danny Welbeck does. So, this is where I would go with Mkhitaryan. Plan on the left of the three is going to be Aaron Ramsey. Now, I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm not too sure of the whole... I know he got a goal at West Ham, um, which was a cheeky goal. I'm not sure how his injury is on his um, calf muscle. Um, I'm not sure how that is. So, I think he's back in full training. So, I would give Ramsey the benefit of the doubt and I would play him. I thought he played well at, at um, West Ham. So... Yeah, I'll play Ramsey in this one and put him on the left. Yeah, that's fine. Um, playing in the number 10 role on in the middle of the three is going to be Mesut Ozil. Now, the amount of times this guy has been ill is beyond me. If he was at school, if he was still at school, his parents would have been fined for a lot of bloody money. So, yeah, Ozil will definitely go in this. And I think he has played well when he has played. He played well at the Atletico Madrid game. I thought he played well as well. Um, yeah. And playing up front as a leading striker is going to be Alexander Lacazette. Now, in the first in the first leg when we played against Atletico, I thought I thought Lacazette was unlucky to only get one goal. Uh, I thought he deserved it to to get at least three, uh, at least three four goals. Um, but he only got the one. I thought he played superb in leading that front line. Um, so, yeah. And not just that. He'll come in for Aubameyang because Aubameyang's cup tied. So, yeah. That's Lacazette for you. Um, so, guys. There is my 1-11. to 11. As I said, let me know in the comment section below what you would keep, what you would change. And if you don't agree with my 1-11, to 11, let me know in the comment section below what your 1-11 to 11 is. And let me know who you think is going to win the game. Uh, I am going to go with an Arsenal win. I'm not predicting the score, so I'll just go with an Arsenal win. Um, so, Arsenal, it's now over to you. Please. This is your only chance to get into Champions League next season. Do not let me down. I'm out of here.